Hey, you guys. So I'm back with another message from the Lord. Um, when God, like I said, when God wants his messages to get out, he will let my phone start recording by itself. I was looking up, trying to make sure and verify. I got everything that he wants me to say. Um, <clears throat> pull it up. But um, this particular message is based upon a dream. Okay. And um, this message is for people who are waiting or asking God for a miracle, in need for a miracle. All right. So in this dream, a little girl came to me and <clears throat> she was asking me like, well, basically was coming to me, wanting to be around me, wanting to um, be in my presence and asking me for um, just like help, just to spend time with her. She wanted her nails and stuff painted or whatever. But the little girl name in the dream was Miracle, right? <clears throat> and then another person came to me in the dream and um, well, came looking for me and the little girl. And their name was Terry. I know I told you guys my, you know, that's um <clears throat> my father's name is Terry. And every time I dream about my father, um when he when God puts him in my dream, it means to Terry. But this is kind of different for me because it was another person in my dream that would name was Terry. And I'm like, okay. And so <clears throat> I was like, okay, God, what are you trying to say? And I know before I went to bed, I was praying for miracles, for um, just miracles. Like, God, you know, your children, we are in need of miracles. Some of us are in need of miracles right now. I need for, you know, I need for you to move on my behalf on certain things. And I know some of your children are um, needing you to move on behalf on certain things. And God is saying to his children, if you are in need of a miracle, you must tarry. And what means, uh, what he is saying um, to me by tarry is um <clears throat> to abide or stay in or at a place you got to stay in place a lot of us are um feeling like getting out of position that is not going to come um <clears throat> what is delayed is not what might seem to be delayed um is not denied um i know i had did a message earlier previously what is um what was delayed is about to be delivered because Terry can also mean to delay, to be tardy in acting or doing. Um, but God is saying we are going to have to tarry um, for this miracle. God had put in my spirit to do a fast, <clears throat> a three, um, at least a three day fast or a fast until the new year comes um, because he wants his children to receive whatever he is trying to get. And he wants you guys to stay in a position. Okay. The verse, one of the verses that he took me to was, <clears throat> um, Habakkuk two and three, but this, the key scripture is the third verse. And it says, and I'm reading from the King James version. And the Lord answered me and said uh, to me, write the vision and make it plain into tables that he may run, that he may run that read it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at that time it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Okay? I'm going to read the third verse again. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at, that end, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. Another word for tarry means to wait. Wait for it. <clears throat> Because it will surely come, it will not tarry, okay? So God is saying to remain, to stay in a place and stay in position. Another scripture that God took me to was Ruth 3 and 13. Um, God has shown, been showing me 313 a lot. And um, <clears throat> 313 in the strong coordinates means... To produce again, be born again, born anew. Um, to have one's mind changed so that he lives a new life and one um, conformed to the will of God. I've been saying, y'all, something new is about to happen. Get ready for the new. Um, y'all about to produce again, be born again, born anew. Okay? But God took me to Ruth. Um, chapter 3, verse 13. And I'm going to read it from... 
the King James Version. Um, <clears throat> and it says, Tarry this night, and it shall be in the morning, that if he will perform unto thee the parts of a king's, king's, kingsman, well, let him do the kingsman part. But if he will not do the part of a kingsman, kinsman to thee, then will I do the part of the kingsman to thee, as the Lord liveth. Lie down until morning. This was with Bo this when when Boaz was talking to Ruth. Okay, the New Living Translation says, "Stay here tonight, and in the morning I will talk to him. If he is willing to render you very well, let him marry you. But if he is not willing, then then as surely as the Lord lives, I will redeem you myself. Now lie down here until morning." This is when Boaz was going to go talk to the another king, uh, the, another relative about marrying Ruth. All right. But um, he ended up redeeming Ruth himself and marrying Ruth himself. And that was Ruth's miracle. But Ruth had to follow his instructions, which was to stay here tonight. And in the morning, I will talk to him. God wants you to stay in position. All right. But I'm telling you guys, God has dropped. Like I said, God has dropped in my spirit to do a three day fast during this fast you need to read scriptures that relates to what you are asking god to do for you just don't read the bible read scriptures that pertains to what you're asking god to do for you what type of miracle do you need read those scriptures that relate to that also during this fast it's a good time for you to work on your goals and your vision board for what god is telling you to do for 2024 during this fast, you need to do that. Um, you will be able to hear God as clear as day. When you meditate on his word day and night, you meditate on what he is telling you to do. You will be able to hear him clearly during this time, during this three day fast. Um, like I said, <clears throat> some of y'all, like I said, might want to go on to the fast up into the new year, up into January the 1st. Um, Pray, ask God what type of instructions that you need to do during this fast, what you need to fast from, and all that good stuff because everybody's instructions will be different based upon your purpose, based upon your assignment, based upon where you are right now in Christ, okay? <clears throat> so seek God for clarity when it comes to your fast, all right, on what you need to fast from. But like I said, God just wanted me to come and share this with his children. If you are in need of a miracle, you need to tarry. And go on a fast. Seek him for instructions on what to do next. All right. I love you guys. I hope you all have an amazing day. And I will chat with you all later.